We are now approximately five months from a decompression of the left greater occipital nerve and the left lesser occipital nerve. We removed a third occipital nerve in the midline of the neck on the left side. This was done to try to help this particular patient with pain uh, in the neck and headaches. Uh, can you tell us what your symptoms were like prior to surgery and how long you had them? Um, prior to surgery for approximately, I don't know, three years or more after an injury at work, I, I was having um, symptoms of like just terrible headaches starting at the base of my neck that would sometimes shoot up to the, the towards my forehead and then sometimes I would get pain that actually felt like it was going through my head and out my eye and into my ear and um, it was a daily thing and then typically they were like the headaches were on a pain scale of like I don't know six to you know five to six to all the way up to nine to ten depending on on uh, movement and things like that um, and this was pain on a daily basis. Daily basis, absolutely. Not once a month, no, not no, once a week, absolutely. every like, single day. I could look forward to it every day. Okay. Yeah. And you were diagnosed by some uh, good physicians back home uh, with possible occipital neuralgia. Uh, you made our way to our office, and we performed these procedures on you about five months ago. Um, what kind of improvements have you seen since? Since then, I'm virtually headache-free. Like, um, you know, I still have, like, normal headaches like everybody else gets, but I don't get the ones that I've gotten, and it was immediate relief, like, um, it was it was amazing, like, I just, I don't have any of that that I had before, I haven't experienced any, any of it at all, um, for the most part, and if I have, it, it's so very minute that it, it's, it's nothing compared to what it was. Now, some people do ask, are there any potential side effects with this? Um, tell us, uh, you do have some altered sensation in some locations. Uh, tell us what you're feeling. Yeah, right now I feel some, um, like a little bit of numbness in, in this part of my ear. Um, I've got some tingling on the top part of my scalp sometimes, in the back of my neck where the incision is. Um, but it's it's very minor, like it's, it's more ear, like an irritation than a pain, and it, it's not constant. Um, is know. it present frequently or rarely? Uh, you know, it's kind of sporadic, so I can't, you know, it's not na not daily, that's for sure. Compared to where you were prior to surgery, how does this feel? Oh, a thousand percent better. Like, I, you know, I've been able to do so much more than, you know, with my head not hurting now, and I feel a lot better, like. Very good. Uh, do you mind if we take a look at your scars? No, not at all. Go ahead. Okay. So we're taking a look at his scars. Um, he's actually healed exceedingly well. Um, I don't even think we can see the scars. Let's have you look down. There is, you can start to see the incision right between his hair, but it's extremely difficult to see. The incision extends from about here to here in this particular patient. It's very nicely um, hidden. And the incision on this side is for the lesser occipital nerve right here. So they heal very nicely most of the time, and you can just make it out right there. Here is the relevant anatomy we were talking about. We had decompressed the greater occipital nerve here, going to the back of his head. We had decompressed the lesser occipital nerve coming here to the side posterior lateral occipital region. We removed this little third occipital nerve in this area here.